Okay, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to build a pitch black room. Now, for most of you out there probably noticed, uh, you probably try to make a black room out of this. Well, here's what you run into. So you switch it to just dark, it's just dark. There's not much you can do about that. If you switch it to night, sure it's even darker, but this isn't, this isn't exactly pitch black. Also, part of the problem is that you put a light in here. Doesn't look all that bright. That's because these lights have a pre-made, well, these rooms have a pre-made lighting in them, so you can't do anything with these. So you're going to have to give up on these types of rooms right away. So, here is how you make a pitch black room. You need the grid room. Now the grid room does have a light source in here, but it's not exactly at the top. It's, it's pretty high up, but not at the top. It's like right about here. Okay. So if we go and make a uh, blocking volume. Make it textured. Black. Sixteen. Okay. Okay. And as you see, there's no shadow down there, which means we're not below that light source yet. I don't know, I guess we are. So the light source is right about here. See where it shades? So if you want to build a pitch black room and make it big, you got to stop somewhere around here. I would say about two. Let's say about maybe about two grids below the top. Okay. Well, we're going to go down here, we're going to build a smaller room. That's good enough. Now let's go ahead and put a couple of these guys on the side. Textured. Not black. And actually, you know, let's do this with the middle too. Let's make sure we uh, got a floor in place. It's a little high, but we can deal with that. Good enough. Okay, now when you go in here, it's pitch black, you can't see anything. Okay. Let's go check the texture though. Let's change it to stone, I guess. Stone 
it's a little off. We'll cover the side in a second. Next, let's get some light in here. We're going to put a light source in here. It actually looks the way you really want it to. I'm going to go and put a weapon in there just to make it look nice. Close it up. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and make this. Uh, we're not going to block players. So we'll just walk through it. Now we walk in there to be pitch black. We can put our light sources in there. It'll look just fine. And we can actually do what we want in there. See, we got normal lighting in here, but we walk through. Completely black. There we go. Okay, so that's how you achieve that. That's how you make it look nice and dark in certain areas and have actually good dynamic lighting in there. Okay, now just a heads up on this. Um, if you want to put a lot of lights in some of these rooms, uh, be careful because if you do a lot of dynamic lighting and you have certain textures in there, and a lot of enemies running around, um, you will slow everything down to a crawl because this engine can handle so much. So you got to be careful when you use dark places like this. Um, because sometimes you need a little bit of lighting in the background if you want to have a lot of stuff going on so that the engine has less stuff to render. Because when it's pitch black like this, it's got to render so much in the background that you can't see. Uh, there are ways to bypass this. And if you go to this, you can actually go here. And get the bloom up so you get some uh, textures going on in the background. See, so little things like that can help you out with what kind of textures you want to use. So if you want those really dark areas, only one light source, or maybe there's a couple light sources got a path through the level, you could do that here. Uh, but you got to be careful there because, like, I built the map a little while ago and I had to scrap it. Um, it was the original Fear Factory map. Not the one that you guys saw, but there was another one. And I'm going to tell you right now, I literally crashed the game making that map because of all the lighting in there, all the darkness, and I was using metal tiles and all that. And believe me, it just like, it ran slow. I had I, I dropped the engine down to 20 frames per second making that map, which is why I scrapped it and made the other one. The other one's a lot better now. So yeah, that's how you make a pitch black room. Okay, again, experiment, try different things out, see what you can do, but be careful not to do too much, because if you do, again, you'll, you'll, you'll crash the engine. And with that being said, thanks for watching, and you all take care.